Welcome to another Junkin Treasures Saving Silverton. What kind of crap are we going to run into today? And are we going to be able to continue? So watch and find out. So here we are back inside the boat and we have the generator I already carried it down the stairs well <laughs> not carry it but we we lifted it down into the stairs with a uh, with the excavator or the skid steer so it is much bigger than the original one so it's gonna be a tight squeeze we're gonna have to rearrange some stuff down inside the hole where it goes so one of the things is, is we need to clean, 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 clean. And I did find a little bit of rot. And uh, this is kind of scaring me, but I did look. <laughs> After I found this, I looked everywhere all over this boat trying to find any more rot on it. And I, I can't. Um, there might be some somewhere, but who knows. So we ended up having to move the AC pump. Um, AC pump's there. And it went right about there and we're gonna move it over here we're also gonna have to remove the muffler it's gonna have to go in a different location and maybe that battery box all right this generator is 31 inches wide the hole 32 inches wide so and it's uh 21 and 22 so it's uh, just just barely half inch on each side but we still haven't really thought of the uh all the barbs and stuff on the side of this thing so i'm probably gonna have to take them all off but as explained first we're gonna clean up and take some stuff out and before we go ahead and set the unit down in this hole how I like spending my Friday nights. So in the living room of my absolutely beautiful wife, I just like to come out here and play in a bilge. What a, I think I really am an idiot. I just want to play with boats. Uh, that's all right. She's just as excited as I am about it. Well, maybe I'm a little bit more excited, but she's definitely not as, as excited to come down here and scrub on some nasty bilge floor. All right, guys, I have some bad news. Bad, bad news about the Silverton. Uh, I, this is anybody's worst nightmare, actually, when you when you get a, a, a used or older boat. Uh, after looking at the generator hole where I found that one little spot where there's some rot, I decided to just really look this boat over. All right, here's what we got. So there's a hole here. I chipped away at a hole. And uh, most people know with boats, they put wood in them. And this stringer's got wood here and here. And um, it's supposed to have wood in it. And there's nothing, nothing at all. And uh, what little I was able to pull out, just 
looks and smells like dirt which is not good I mean not good at all you see that right there that's just flakes of old wood so you kind of come all the way back to here and uh, one of the easiest things to do is pull out the motor mounts let's see what they look like well here's the three bolts where these uh, motor mounts were and uh, this one is nothing this is all hollow this whole stringer all the way I have hi right, guys this is like one of those dramatic moments uh, where I just want to throw up uh, it's not the worst it can be but it's definitely a setback and and I do not like it um, I'm gonna have to do some research and see if there's something I can do to maybe uh, fill it with something um, let me just show you what I got going on how about that all right so I got a abundant of test holes all over this boat I decided just to go crazy with the drill and just drill a bunch of holes in the stringers all over the place so basically what I found is this stringer all the way up past this this uh, cross stringer all the way up to um, the front part here all the way to just past this motor mount where I drilled a hole right here so this section all the way up uh, probably to this bulkhead here is probably where I'm going to go it is completely rotten there's no wood in this at all and then you also have this piece you can see where I drilled one hole and you can see where it's oozing uh, this piece here is rotten and I'm assuming this piece here is too which is really small and I don't really care that much uh, I drilled a hole like here here a uh, couple over here all right all these this 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 all that seems to be good I even in the front part of the bilge where the generator goes you can see here I drilled some in there and everything seems to be good in there it's just this one stringer and i think uh because this one got wet it's soaked in here and it soaked in there uh as i got back here on this one it started to get okay so that being said um this boat is gonna undergo some major surgery uh we're gonna have to remove the fuel tank this fuel tank here cut this open so here i am getting all excited over this boat put, getting ready to put the generator in it working on the amrs trying to get the diesels ready to put back in this boat and then uh i i found this <laughs> all right now that i spent all night whining and crying about my rotten garbage barge over here i actually came up with a, uh, a a good game plan on what i'm gonna do so what i'm gonna do here is i'm gonna cut open the stringer i already know that the wood along here is pretty much completely rotten almost gone it's a pretty crucial part of the boat structure this particular stringer so i feel like i need to fix this the best i can now that stringer I'm going to replace it and put wood back in it just like it was from the factory uh, I really really looked at all the other stringers there is a little bit of rot here and there but nothing major the first thing I need to do is get rid of all the moisture that's number one get rid of the moisture number two <clears throat> uh, I'm gonna fix this stringer here that uh, has no wood left in it and as far as the other stringers go um, I'm gonna just inject those with uh, epoxy and I think that's uh, more than sufficient for kind of repairing some of the small rotten places but the biggest thing is to get rid of the moisture which is kind of a difficult process anyway we'll get back to that but first let's cut this uh, stringer open and see what we got
All right, holy cow. It's uh, <laughs> it's definitely rotten. Can I show you what we got going on right here? This is stringer wood, or used to be stringer wood. And uh, I went ahead and cut this one out. Cut it out all the way to here. Cut it out all the way to back here. Now back here, the rot stops. I mean, it kind of stops right in, right in here. There's a little cavity here, a little cavity there. I think on the ends here, we can squirt some either structural foam, kind of like what this is, or maybe some epoxy. Do it on both ends, over here too. And then on this cross rib, or whatever you want to call it, the rot stops about right here. You can see where it's kind of dry wood right here, but it's still kind of rotten. I think if I dig this out a little bit, I need to do the same thing, either some foam or some epoxy, whatever I decide to do. And then uh, new wood here, and new wood all along here. I've been dealing with some sunken boats for a while now, and this is kind of what you get when you have a sunken boat, for sure. Uh, if you get any kind of hole or any kind of way to get moisture or water into a stringer, it's going to soak it in, and, and that's it. So, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a moisture meter. I meant to buy one today, just haven't had time. I've got to go over all the stringers, all the structural parts of this boat and kind of take the moisture meter and hold it to it and see what parts have moisture in it. And those parts that have moisture in it, we need to dry them out. Um, there's several methods of doing that. Uh, you can uh, put a vacuum on it, which I don't think is going to happen. I'm thinking maybe blowing some hot air or maybe even some compressed air or maybe even just put a vacuum cleaner on it. Not to create a vacuum, but maybe just some airflow, punch a hole in something. I don't know. I'm going to do some research and figure out what I could come up with. All right. I think I'm going to stop you guys right here. Uh, this is just going to be a short episode and you see what I'm up against. So next time is it going to be putting the motors in or are we going to fix some stringers because that looks like that's probably more important so be sure to like and subscribe and tell your friends this project is getting extremely interesting it's like more and more and more so we'll have some more for you so hit that like button